All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Jeff, and I'm your craftsman, I guess. I want to start by saying thank you for purchasing one of my products. I'm uh, happy to share uh, my design and uh, what we've put together with a bunch of people all across the country. I had planned to make a kind of fancy video here, but based on the tracking, it looks like some of your cabinets are going to arrive really soon. So let's just go through the features and operation of uh, your new Deluxe Furniture Company television. And here it is. Um, so this is your 32 inch 1080p television. And down behind that is the sound bar. Operation's pretty easy. You got a, a bag inside um, the fold down door here, along with the legs, which were taken off for transport. And there's a remote repeater located here behind the um, cover of the speaker. And so we just take our TV remote, point it down there, and we get to see. My kids love this show. <clears throat> the um, remote for the sound system works the same way. Uh, it doesn't operate off the repeater, but it picks up its own sensor down here. And uh, there's two different um, sound bars out there, but they all kind of work the same way. There's a button for Bluetooth and a button for optical, and that's what the TV runs off. So you can connect your phone or music player to this. Um, the fold down door here, fold it down. There's a little space in here if you want to put a um, cable box or DVD Blu-ray player in there. I'll show you how to connect that in there. And then also the control for the fan, which is here. And I just have it set on low um, and just leave it on there. As I've said in the information at the beginning, the, the, the foil on the front of the door is kind of the most delicate part of this. So I want to be just a little bit careful with that. And uh, if there is a problem with it, you can take the door off, ship it back to me, and I'll fix it and send it back to you. So we'll walk around uh, this way. And <clears throat> when your TV arrives, it has this uh, back on it. I've taken this one off just for this little video. And it's screwed on with these uh, brass screws. I wanted to make it look nice from the, from the back as well. Uh, these screws are really soft, and so they sometimes can strip out. So inside your bag... Uh, there should be five extra screws in case there's a problem um, taking the back off at some point. This is what it looks like <clears throat> inside the back. There's a central power strip here. The cord runs out through the back. Um, should be room in here. If you do need to plug something else in, sometimes you might have to move some of these transformers around. Uh, this unit itself is going to get an Apple TV in it before it ships out. So... This is the main control for the remote repeater. And occasionally, uh, I've had a little bit of trouble and um, it's not picking up the remote. You might come in here and wiggle these around, but uh, not, not very often. This right here, this bundle, has in it an extra sensor. So there's this right here that you just find where the remote is uh, received on whatever device and you stick this on. And there's also some extras in this box that is shipped inside of your TV as well, inside the, the shelf. And so if you put a DVD player in here, you can connect one of these, you can connect more um, along this here. Uh, so you can run your cable box or, or Blu-ray or whatever. The fan is here underneath. It's sucking air up and pushing it out. Um, through the perforated holes in the back. And the fan is currently operated off of the TV. And so when you turn the TV on, the fan automatically comes back on. And when you turn the TV off, it runs for a couple of minutes and then turns off. That saves a spot in the plug and then it keeps you from having to open and close the door. Um, I don't know how important the fans really are, but I have some clients who run these in, in museums or things like that and they kind of run all day. So I just put that fan in there. Um, I think I kind of covered. The TV itself has about a total of an inch all the way around it. So a half inch on all four sides. And that's so if you needed to at some point, you could replace the TV out of it. You just have to locate where the remote receiver is on the TV and then transfer that remote repeater over to it. 
Um, subwoofer is included inside the box. It's kind of wedged in a little bit with a couple screws and there's also Velcro underneath it to, to cushion it a little bit and you can take it out if you need it to. There should be a nameplate inside each one. I think that kind of covers and then of course down here is the sound bar which uh, operates off its own remote and as I said can also be Bluetooth. <clears throat> also inside uh, your bag is a, a tack cloth like this and this is uh, when they ship with the um, shipping blankets often have a lot of dust in them and so I just say if you can just wipe it down gently with that tack cloth it'll take the dust off carefully <laughs> and this is the polish that I recommend these are it's not really a polish but uh, it's sort of the the recommended industry standard um, furniture cleaner for kind of mid-century or, or quality furniture. It's finished with a, a semi-gloss lacquer finish and we don't need to put anything on it that's gonna build up over time, any sort of oil or anything. So if uh, if you feel the need to, to clean this up uh, at some point or uh, your other mid-century furniture and go out there and look for that um, Oz cream. And I think, I think that's about it. So uh, once again, thank you and uh, best of luck with your product.